So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel and you're looking for some budget gear to get yourself started, I thought I'd share with you guys the setup that I use to get my channel started uh, because I do think it could be beneficial for you guys and give you guys some ideas of different things you guys could be picking up that's on the cheap um, that'll let you achieve a pretty similar look to some of the more expensive setups out there that your favorite YouTubers are probably using. So with all that said, let's roll that intro and let's talk about it. Right, real quick here before we get into this video and into all the gear, uh, for those of you guys who don't know me, my name is Theo. I do a lot of photo and video content here on this channel, so if that is your thing, uh, definitely consider sticking around and subscribing. It is much appreciated. All right, now let's talk about the gear. So first thing right off the bat that I want to say is that I'm actually using the setup currently for this video. Uh, I still had all the old gear uh, laying around and I thought it'd be fun to kind of recreate my old setup and how I would use it today. Uh, and just kind of show you how good of an image you can actually still get with this budget setup. Now I'm just going to be going over the main three things that I used uh, to make my old videos. Uh, that's the camera, the light, and the microphone. Now when it comes to the camera that I first were starting to use when I started my YouTube channel, uh, I was using the Fujifilm X-T20. Um, now obviously I am a Fujifilm shooter if you've seen any of my videos on this channel. I do talk about a lot of Fuji stuff. So in my opinion, Fuji is a great system to invest in. I got my camera specifically for photography uh, before I considered starting a YouTube channel and sure enough the video capabilities on this camera were actually way better than I thought they would be and I would highly recommend this camera if you can find one used for a decent price. I think, you, I think you can get them for under 500 bucks but if you have a little bit more money to spend I would highly recommend like the X-T30. The X-T30 did upgrade a lot more like video features specifically because we're talking about starting a YouTube channel. Um, I would recommend definitely the 30 or even the XS10. I think they're roughly around the same price and the XS10 comes with a flippy screen so you can see yourself. It does come with IBIS um, which is, comes in handy because a lot of Fuji's primes don't come with uh, OIS so you could definitely benefit from that. But yeah, I think like I said, I think Fuji is definitely uh, an underrated system for the price of Fuji cameras and Fuji glass. Nothing really competes when it comes to quality uh, for such a cheap price. So now when it comes to lighting, uh, I've heard plenty of people say that lighting is one of the more important things uh, that you should be investing in relatively pretty early on uh, in say your video career or your YouTube career. Now obviously you can get away with shooting during the daytime like right next to a window and get some nice window light. Uh, the downside to that is if it's an overcast day or there's clouds, uh, the exposure can definitely change on you and that's super frustrating to edit. But the light that I ended up picking up was just a cheap $30 light setup. Uh, that I got the idea from uh, a Chris Howe video. Way back when he first started his channel, he put a video out talking about a $30 light that he bought from Ikea. It basically just consists of a paper lantern sphere, a cabled uh, light outlet, and a thousand lumen uh, daylight balanced LED. And relatively came up to around 30 bucks. I think it was a little bit more over. He recommended getting the light that came with the braided cable, which I definitely recommend as well. Especially like the way I have it strapped to this light stand. You can kind of wrap it around. It's, it's a little bit more flexible and a little bit more durable if you're going to be doing this a lot with it. Um, so I would, re would recommend the braided cable that it comes with. But yeah, for only 30 bucks, this stepped up my video quality dramatically. Um, all from a little $3 cheap paper lantern braided cable light. <laughs> now as you just saw, I do have it wrapped around a light stand. Uh, I didn't have these light stands back when I was starting out. I have accumulated quite a bit of gear since starting my channel. But what I used to do beforehand was literally hang it, I used to like literally get a thumbtack and pin it up on the wall and hang it over that and that would work. Um, I've literally shot up against a window and like kind of fed the cable through the curtain and used the curtain to hang and kind of lowered it to the right spot. Um, so there's different ways you can mount this light uh, up high enough so that you can get it in the right spot to film your videos. So you can get away with this light setup without a stand or anything like that. I got pretty creative with ways I could mount it so I'm sure you can as well. So when it comes to the microphone that I ended up picking up when I first got started, I went with the Comica CVM VM10. I think everything that I ended up coming up with would, would definitely be linked down in the description. But Comica puts out really great quality stuff and I do recommend them, especially if you're starting out um, over like say a Rode Micro, because for the same price, if not like five bucks cheaper, you get like a whole case for it. You get multiple cables if you're gonna be using it with your smartphone. Um, you get a like windscreen as well as a dead cat. So for, for the money, you're getting way more stuff and the quality itself is pretty similar if not maybe better depending on your opinion. But yeah, the quality for this mic is uh, really good for the price. As you can see here, I do have a little makeshift setup 
uh, with it attached to my Gorillapod, uh, just to get it that much closer to my face. Um, that's something I definitely recommend. If you are just starting out with your YouTube channel, don't just pop this microphone on top of the camera, especially in a setup like this. Um, it's okay for vlogging and those types of things, uh, but when you are sitting down here or say you're just sitting out in a living room or something, uh, the further away it is, the more echoey it could sound. It's just gonna be a lot higher, higher quality uh, the closer you get it to your face. But yeah, that's pretty much the setup that I got started with with my YouTube channel. I hope you guys got some ideas that you could use to start your YouTube channel. Let me know down in the comments, guys, what you guys think of these ideas and how some of my, some of my videos turned out uh, using a setup like this. Uh, a lot of my older videos back from like 2017, 2018 were filmed with setup with this setup. So if you guys want to see how those videos look, with a setup like this, definitely go check those out. And let me know down in the comments, let's kind of chat about it. Let me know if there's anything that could work a little bit better than, than what I chose back in the day to start my channel. And let's make it like a big discussion for any of those people who are coming to this video to look for a year to start out with. Definitely check out the comments below and let's all share our, our ideas and, and what we all started with. But yeah, that's about it for this one, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you guys did enjoy us and did get something out of it, definitely hit that like button. It is much appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.